بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brother and sister I welcome you all to my channel Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that أنا مدينة العلم وعلي بابها I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its door this hadith is in uh, in the book of uh, Tirmidhi it's in the Sahih Sitha Imam Tirmidhi has uh, classed this hadith as uh, a zaif the Prophet is the city of knowledge and Ali is the door of knowledge what does this mean what sh- what kind of meaning should we take from this hadith brother and sisters this does not mean that ali is infallible this hadith does not mean that ali was a prophet this does not mean that ali was a nurullah this does not mean that ali was getting a wahi from allah this does not mean that Muhammad Ali was the higher had a higher status than Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam brother and sisters Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the city of knowledge there is no doubt about it and Ali was the follower of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we do not have any narration anything that Ali said that he had a higher status than Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he always praised Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he always followed his teachings that's why up until now we have all the teaching of teachings of Ali radhiyallahu anhu preserved and what he used to do he was he was the he was the very close friend of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Ali radhiyallahu anhu was one of the closest family members to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and wherever there uh, Ali was needed Ali was needed Ali radhiyallahu anhu was there for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was he was he was the son in law of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we want to follow this hadith if we want to follow this hadith we should follow the lifetime of ali and look at his life and look at his sira what he used to do he used to he used to pray five times a day in the masjid he used to wake up for tahajjud he used to go for hajj he used to give his zakah and he used to fast the month of ramadan when the month of ramadan came he wants to tell us how close he is to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam not so that some people will consider it, consider him a nurullah ali radhiyallahu anhu was a rightly guided khalif of the muslims amirul mu'minin ali radhiyallahu anhu and in another hadith that uh, that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man kuntu maulahu fa hadha aliun maula whoever i am close to friend to ali is his close friend some people might say that the meaning of this hadith is that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted to tell us that ali should have, should be the khalifa uh, the leader of the muslims after rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if this was the case rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam would have clearly said it this was a big event this was a big thing for the muslims he would have clearly said but rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't clearly said it because he wanted the muslims to choose their leader because he the leader would be making decisions for the ummah for the muslims and that's exactly what it is after muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam abu bakr was chosen by the muslims and ali was there too and he gave him the bayah you think do you think that ali would not listen to the prophet he gave abu bakr the bayah after him umar radhiyallahu anhu he ali radhiyallahu anhu gave bayah to umar radhiyallahu anhu he he accepted them as the the, the leaders for the ummah leaders for those muslims after him it was usman radhiyallahu anhu he also accepted usman radhiyallahu anhu too and after usman eventually ali radhiyallahu anhu became the leader 
of, for the Muslims. We consider them all as leaders for the Muslims. His, Ali Razialan, whose status is, is a high status because he was the family of the Prophet and so as the other Khalifas. Abu Bakr was the father-in-law of the Prophet Uthman Razialanhu was the son-in-law of the Prophet. He Uthman was married to two of the daughters of the Prophet And Ali was also the son-in-law of the Prophet and a cousin. They all have their status. But that does not mean that he is the first Khalifa. That does not mean that that he is the leader of the Muslims, the first leader of the Muslims of the Prophet ﷺ. Otherwise, the Prophet ﷺ would have clearly said it. We do not follow anything that the Prophet didn't say. And if the Prophet said it, Ali would have came up and he would have fought for it. Because Ali was known to stand up for what's right. Ali was known to stand up for the truth. If this was the uh, the the hukm of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be the Khalifa after him, he would have fought for it and he would have he he would have got it, but no, he did not fight for it because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam never said it. Ali was a knowledgeable companion. That's why Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam called him the door of his city of knowledge. And in another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that whoever has hatred for Ali is a munafiq and whoever has love for Ali is a mu'min. We love Ali. We follow Ali for the sake of so the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We follow his teachings and we follow his hadith, whatever he said, we follow his seerah and his his hadith, his his whole lifetime was according to Sunnah, was according to Quran. He followed the Quran. So brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and give us a tawfiq to act upon what we heard and give us the istiqama to keep teaching the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.